Hi, this is Tim. In this series, we're going to be talking about motion control using stepper motors. In this video, we're going to be using Industrial Concepts Motion Control Trainer, and we're going to be using our PLC Trainer. And I'll put links to both of those in the description, but we'll be integrating it with a Micro 850 PLC. And before we even start, let's go over this motion control trainer because you can learn a lot about stepper control before we hook the first wire to the PLC with this. Here's the motion control trainer and it consists of a linear actuator which has a stepper motor on this end and that stepper motor is turning the screw. And as that screw turns, it is going to drive this carriage back and forth. And on this end, we have an encoder that we're going to connect to our high-speed counter, and we're going to use it to get the exact position of it. And we also have these three switches that we can use for specific positions. And down here, here is the stepper motor, and we're going to connect it over here to the stepper driver, which is powered off of 24 volt. Then we're going to use a pulse and direction to actually control where the motor moves. And we're going to do an exercise before we even put the first wire to the PLC using this dial switch to show how pulse and direction works. To start with, with the power off, we're going to connect our stepper motor to our stepper driver. And you can go color to color and also the signals are matched. So we have A minus green going to A minus green. We have A plus red going to A plus red. We have B minus blue going to B minus blue. And we have B plus yellow going to B plus. Then we're going to power our stepper motor by putting D plus of the stepper motor to our DC 24 volt out red. And then we're going to put the ground to the black of the DC 24 volt out. Next, we're going to connect the enable circuit. It's very important that you do this so that you don't crash the actuator. So I'm going to take the ENA minus and I'm going to connect it to the black of the DC out. Then I'm going to take a wire from the red of one of the limit switches and connect it to the red of the 24 volt out. Then I'm going to jumper that wire that I just connected to one of the red posts of the limit switch and connected to the other red post. And then I'm going to also jumper the black side. So the left and the right of the limit switch black sides will also be jumpered. So both of them end up jumpered together. And then I'm going to take a wire from that black post and connect it to the ENA+. And the way this works is this stepper will be enabled whenever there's not voltage present here. So when this switch gets hit, it's going to send voltage to here and disable this. And same over here. This is really important. Don't skip that step. Now let's take an ohm meter and make sure we understand how this dial switch works right here. So I am going to take the black lead of my meter and put it into COM A. And then I'm going to take the red lead of my meter and put it into 1. And right now I'm not showing any continuity and I'm going to press the either one actually on this left down. Notice this arrow goes over here to this top. So we're dealing with the left place here. I press it this way and our resistance goes to zero. I press it again and our resistance goes back to one and I can use the up and do the same thing. I press it and it goes to zero. I press it again. And it goes to one. So I can press this and simulate a pulse happening. And let's connect it to the bottom one just so we can see it does the exact same thing between COM8 and 1. I press it and we get a zero resistance. I press it, goes back to open. So we can use this to simulate pulses. So next what we're going to do is we're going to jumper the ENA minus to the DIR minus to the PLS minus. So that's going to make all of them connected to the black or the zero volt of our 24 volt. Now I'm going to take a wire and connect it to the plus 24 volt, which is the red set of terminals. 
and we're going to connect it to the COM A. And then I'm going to take a jumper from that COM A to the COM B. And that's going to put 24 volt on one side of our contacts. Now I'm going to take a wire from the one of COM A and I'm going to make that our pulse. And I'm going to take a wire from the one of COM B and I'm going to put that on direction. So now the left set of buttons, top and bottom, either one, is going to send it pulses to make the servo move. And the right terminal, the right button here, is going to change the direction. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the power on. And with the power on, the first thing we should do is check our limit switches. So if I just grab the screw, I can't turn it right now. If I just touch one of our limits, now I can turn the switch. It's disabled that stuffer. Turn it, let go of it, and it's tight again. I'm going to test the other one. And yeah, when it hits the switches, it does disable the servos. That's going to be really important so we don't damage this in any way. But now, with it enabled, I'm going to hit the right button. And it may not even be able to see it that well, but if I hit this a bunch of times, you can probably even hear that grunting. If you actually watch here, you're going to see that moving. Let me get a close-up of that. So as I'm pressing the button, you can see that slowly rotating there. Now I'm going to press the right button one time. Now remember last time it was rotating this direction. Now as I hit it, you see it's coming back the other direction. So using this pulse and this direction, we can control the stepper motor and position this really anywhere we want. So in our next video, we're going to start connecting our Allen Bradley Micro 850 PLC to this so we can start doing some motion control. I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit about what it means to have pulse and direction and how a stepper works. Please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Till next time. Hey, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.